Hello everybody and welcome back. This is a project video and we want to design a beautiful gray scene and create a castle with perspective gray tool. I suggest you create it at home with me and send me your feedback. Let's jump into the illustrator. If you are interested in this video, please subscribe to my channel for reaching to the previous lectures and click on the bell button so whenever I publish a new video, you are the first one who can watch it. Okay everybody, at first we want to select the perspective grid from the toolbox here or with the shift and P hotkey, I add it to my artboard. Actually, this is just a view, this is not a shape. We can create a shape into the perspective grid. Okay, for creating a castle, I want to change my view to something just like that. Okay, that is good. Make it a little up. Okay, that's good. And now I zoom in. That's it. I need for the unit in the width and for the unit in the length. So I count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 40. That's it. And this one as well. Make it one unit bigger. Okay. And now I select the rectangle tool for creating a rectangle into the perspective view. I select the rectangle tool and from here to here I create a rectangle. Press V key for selecting the selection tool. Change the color to something this one, actually something gray and remove the stroke. Okay, now I select the perspective selection tool. From here, I change the side. Actually, I want to click the right grid and select this grid and now select the rectangle again. And from here, I create a rectangle. Again, I select this rectangle to something this one, that is great. Again, I select this rectangle and I want to replace the color to this one and select this rectangle again and replace this color and that's good now. Okay, this is my shape till now. Again, I select the perspective and use the rectangle and I want to create the top of my castle. That is so easy. Okay, now I select the selection tool, actually perspective selection tool, select the left grid and again select the rectangle, change the color to this one and create the rectangle. Okay, that's it. I select the selection tool and I want to make my castle 3D. I duplicate these layers by holding the Alt key and put it here. There is an easy and quick technique for making your pictures in perspective grid 3D. And this is in the forward. I press right click, go to arrange and send it to back. That's it. And now I select these rectangles, all of them, go to arrange and send them to back. I select this one, duplicate it and put it here. Select this one, duplicate it and put it here. And this one as well as the others. Now I select these rectangles. I select this one. Again, duplicate it, put it here, 
right click, arrange and send it to back and do it for all the other rectangle. Okay, now I zoom in for actually repairing some details. I zoom in here, select the selection tool, put it down and make it bigger. Okay, that's great. This is my castle. By clicking the escape, you can switch between the normal view and perspective view. Okay, this is my castle. And now I want to create the doors. With a rectangle tool, in a normal view, actually 2D view, I create a rectangle. And create a circle. That's it. Put it down with holding the shift key. This is good and normal. I change the color to... Oh, that is okay. And again, selection tool. I make it bigger. And scale it down. I select it. Press Command and G or Control G in Windows and I make a group now and with the perspective selection tool and hold the Alt key and add it to my perspective view. Very great. Select the left grid and again select my shape, hold the Alt key and put it here. I select the selection tool, go to the color and put this color to it and that is great okay now I press escape and this is my final shape I delete this shape okay now I want to add my castle to the final scene actually I want to create a scene here and put the castle on a hill let's get it started okay at first I select the rectangle tool and add a background to my artboard That's it. And change the color. From here, I prepare some color codes for you. For every part and every element. I add this code for my background. 1C, 1C, 20. That's it. And press OK. This is the color of my background. Now I send it to back. And with pressing command and number 2, you can lock it. Okay, now I want to make the hills. I zoom in out. And select the curvature tool from here and create a hill. Okay, this is the first hill. I select it and I want to change the color. I don't need the stroke. I change the color from here in the field. And again, I add another code. 29272B. I press OK. This is my hill. Okay, now I select the rectangle tool. From here, I select this rectangle and this shape, and in the Pathfinder, I use the intersect. That's it. This is my first hill, and I select it, duplicate it with Alt key, and again duplicate it here. Select this hill, and in the Arrange, I bring it to forward, 
and now change these colors. Put this code for changing these colors 6D6E71 and press OK. I select the first hill, I scale it up to here. Okay. And now I want to put the castle on my hill. I select all the elements, press Command and G, hold the Shift and press the bottom arrow key. Put it here, right click, arrange and bring it to forward. I select these two hills and scale them down to this one and put it here put this one to here great and now I want to create a mountain I again select the curvature tool Okay, this is my mountain, I select it, send it to back and bring it forward one level and change the color to this one I tell you, BF, BF, BF and press tab and OK. This is the color of the mountain. Okay, I change the view and fit on the screen. Okay, now I want to create some clouds with the ellipse tool change the color and add this code 80 80 80 press tab and press ok and now I want to create a cloud we have so many techniques for creating cloud but I prefer this one we can create a cloud with creating a little circles and make them group Ok, this is my cloud. I select it and press Command and G and this is a group and now hold the Alt key for duplicate it to here, here, here. Great. And now I want to change the scales. I send this cloud to back. Ok, now I select my castle and I want to duplicate my castle into the top of my mountain. Hold the Alt key and put it here and scale it down and send it to back and again bring forward, just one step. Great. Now the one thing my scene doesn't have it is the stars. I want to create some stars into my scene. Actually you can download the image of stars and put it to your scene and duplicate it to everywhere. But I want to teach you a new technique with the brush tool for creating stars into your scene. Ok now I want to create a stars. I zoom in. Select a circle, ok, now I zoom in for a better view and go to the effect, stylize and outer glow. 
the color is white I decrease the blue it's good and the opacity 100% I press ok that's it after selecting I go to the brushes panel and click on this button for creating a new brush I want to create a pattern brush with this shape I select this one and press OK and this is my shape but that is white you cannot see it I increase the space because if you use the brush actually it duplicates automatically with a specific space and I want to put it to 40% and press OK this is my new brush I select the brush and select this one and create the stars that's it but I press command and Z and now I create stars into my sky just into my sky not on my clouds so in the layer panel I add a new layer I select it now I create my stars Okay, that's enough. I create my stars here in two path in the layer two. Okay, now by clicking on this free space, I select all of them and change the opacity. A little more. Okay, that's good. And now I zoom in and delete this little star that's my first star and now fit on a screen I select this shape and change the opacity to 100% and other ones in the low opacity okay that's great actually at last we can remove these shapes but that is not necessary for you you can change your setting in the export as I told you in the previous lectures and export just this scene. That's it. Okay everybody, I wish you enjoyed that. Try it at home with this video and send your feedback to me and I'll see you in the next videos.